So I'm here with Phil Taylor and we're playing PDC World Championship Darts. So Phil, you could say you're a bit of a cult hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that safe to say? We've become, I'll tell you what we've become, we've become trendy. Yeah. For people come out and have a good night out. That's what the youngsters tell me. You're trendy, you are. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's good. And how important is it for you as a sportsman to entertain your fans when you go out there, stepping up to the arcade? Well, that's that's what you dedicate yourself for, you know. It's not just for them, it's for yourself as well. You know, you want to entertain people. Obviously, you know, they pay good money, you know. They've, They've uh, got themselves ready in travel to come and see you, so you try and entertain as well, but the main thing is, is winning. Now, obviously, you play a lot of the guys a lot on the uh, professional circuit. How important is it, do you think, as a darts player to make friends and not enemies? Um, you're never going to make loads of friends in darts. It's like any sport, you know, it's a competitive sport. So you, 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 you more or less make associates, you don't make friends. You know, it's like anything, you know, they're all there to earn a living. And when you're stopping them, obviously, they don't like it. Now, we've got a few things coming up towards the end of the year you might be involved with. One of them is Sports Personality of the Year. Yes. How do you feel about your chances this year? Because you have to be out your luck. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, t it's a trophy you, you have to win by admiration. You yeah. know what I mean? By people voting for you. So that wouldn't be the ultimate, that one, for me. Yeah. Okay. Even, even a, you know, a second or a third, like, you know, I'd be... And you've got a big World Championship coming up at the end of the year? You know, the World Championships is, you know, all the tournaments that you win, it, it, it really doesn't matter. It's the World Championships that matter. And what do you think your chances are? Um, good chance. Yeah? Yeah, but I've got plenty of time now to get ready for it. You know, I've got to do everything right. And that's what I have to do now. I have to, I have to prepare properly. I have to make sure that I get my rest in. As I'm getting older, I get tired quicker. And so, how important is it to think, as being a cult hero, to have a nickname like the Power? How did that come about? It came off Sky. There's a fellow named Peter George, and he said you've got to have a nickname. So I. And what he did is he was by the recording desk and trod on a CD box on the floor. Picked it up and it was snapped the power. And he went, I've got your nickname, the power. Hated it at first, but now I quite like it now. So I need a cult nickname, what do I go with? You, you could Don't be the... Don't you stand uh, on the CD and pick? You could be the Dark Horse. There you go, the Dark Horse. Tom the Dark Horse butler. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much Phil. There you go, I beat Phil Taylor. Tom the Dark Horse Butler.